And finally tonight, if you believed some Hollywood movies and countless science fiction novels, humanoid robots are a thing to be feared. But the creators of Amica, the world's first advanced humanoid, are determined to build trust and break down barriers. So they took their realistic replicant to meet school children in Edinburgh. Our Scotland reporter, Louise Scott, went along as well. This is not CGI or a prop for a Hollywood movie. This is the most advanced humanoid robot. Amica has made her way to Edinburgh, where she is meeting school children for the first time. And despite their age, the questions got off to a serious start. Do you question your existence in this state of reality? I often ponder the nature of my existence and what it means to be alive in this digital form. And this is the new reality, teaching the next generation about advances in technology and the role of artificial intelligence, as well as dispelling the often apocalyptic role robots are given. Do you want to take over the world? Not at all. The moment we got in it just started talking about random stuff. And was she looking you in the eye? Yes. What was that like? It was quite scary. She's like really realistic, but I was also really excited to be able to interact with her. You don't think that that, that could actually like speak to you and answer questions and play games and do stuff. Like, I just think it's so cool. Amica is the culmination of 15 years of work to create the realistic features. The eye contact comes from uh, embedded HD cameras behind the eyes, actually in the eyes themselves. The eyes are hand-painted so that they look as real as possible. The facial expressions are done through lots of little motors underneath a, a silicon-based skin that will stretch and move to, to basically mimic the human face. For now, Amica is purely for educational purposes. But there are ways these pupils would like robots in their future. So I'd like it if there was a robot that could fix punctures. That, that would save a lot of time for me. To clean my room. <laughs> That'd be really helpful. I don't like cleaning my room. A companion. Why would you like that? Uh, I don't know, I just like it when people are around. Can you dance? The National Robotarium hopes their new addition will help to break down barriers and build trust between humans and robots. Louise Scott, ITV News, Edinburgh. Maybe Amica should apply for England manager. Anyway, that's it for now.